Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you a project that I did last year which was summer of 2014 and this is a lathe dog that I made using both the G0602 and the G0704. It's kind of ugly and it looks unfinished out there on the end because um, it just does. <laughs> uh, I, I bent it with my hydraulic press, my Harbor Freight 20 ton, and it, it won't bend it quite 90 degrees, so I had to finish that by hand. But this is all made out of a piece of uh, three quarter inch, I think it was three quarter inch 1018 uh, cold rolled. And this was just a leftover piece of material that I had laying around. So the the reason why I made this dog was for a tapered mandrel that I bought from McMaster. It's a half inch mandrel and it's like uh, exactly a half inch, like five zero zero on one end and then it's five zero five on the other end. So you turn your, you bore your work uh, to exactly, you know, half inch in this case. And then as you press it on the mandrel, it wedges itself on there. And then that way you can turn between centers and uh, it worked great, uh, even though it was, you know, it turned out really ugly, but uh, so I'll just kind of tell you a little bit about it, I guess. So I turned the stem section down to three-eighths of an inch. It could be smaller, but um, I like three-eighths. It's, it's a good solid size. And anything larger than that, I can't really bend it in my brake attachment, uh, my really crappy brake attachment that I've talked about in other videos. And then uh, just a couple of tapered faces on this larger diameter. This is really just, it doesn't serve a purpose. It's purely for aesthetic reasons. And then... Uh, take it over to the mill and machine a couple of flats. Now I don't have uh, V blocks and I didn't have a uh, um, 5C collet set at the time. That would have worked great actually, but I didn't have it when I made this video. And so I've got this part set up on some parallels on the larger diameter and the center line is below the top edge of the vise. That way when you tighten it down, it won't try and pop out. And then it's just sighted horizontally the whole length against the fixed jaw. So it's not really critical, so it doesn't matter if it turns out, you know, looking great, but it actually did, so it's fine. And then uh, flip it over and machine the other side, and I drilled a half-inch hole through there. I, I must have lost that video. And then the last thing uh, before bending was just to drill and tap the back, uh, the end of this, for a set screw, which I think I used a 1032 cap screw, or maybe it was a quarter 20, I'm not sure. I have, This is actually the second version of this I made. The first time I made it, I only had a taper tap, and so I ended up having to drill and tap through the stem section, and it ended up making kind of a thin wall tubing. And so when I went to bend it on the hydraulic press, it just broke in half. So I had to get a, a bottoming tap and then redo this whole thing. Uh, frustrating to ruin it on the very last step of the build. But uh, yeah, with the, with the bottoming tap, I only had to drill and tap through the back half. The set screw went in. It, it does look like a quarter 20. And then here you can see it on the mandrel. And um, turning between centers worked great. I was able to machine this whole thing in one setup. It ended up being a roller for the all plywood belt sander that I made last year uh, so I could finish up my Kickstarter. And I, I know I said I was going to roll that video in, but I never did. I guess if people are interested, let me know in the comments and I can show you what that belt sander turned out to look like. It's pretty ugly. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's that's it, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. Scroll down, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.